Yeah. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. This is the first time I am ever creating my real life jump shot in NBA 2K at all. So what I need you guys to do right now is like and subscribe. Let's get into this video, bro. Oh my God. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy. Um, so check this out, man. I've decided to create my jump shot in NBA 2K19. Yes, this is my in real life jump shot. Now, the reason behind this video is that um, I found out in real life that I may not be able to play that much basketball anymore uh, due to tricep tears as well as um, my triceps infringing my elbows as well. So it's a big step for me. Um, I got to go through a lot of stuff with the doctors, but let's talk about my base. So with that being said, I noticed that I don't use that much lower body strength. I don't jump very often, so I decided to use Glenn Robinson's base. Now as far as my release one goes, I chose Damian Lillard starting out. But uh, I was in a party chat with a bunch of YouTubers during launch night and we were all talking about releases and I was trying to get some help and Juice Man came out of nowhere with some big help. I noticed Damian Lillard, Lillard always dropped both arms but he told me to go to like release 90 to like the 80s and try out some of those releases for release one and man I found a gem in there man. I found a gem where I keep my shooting arm up but my uh, offhand falls. And that's exactly how my release one jump shot is. So let's go ahead and check that out real quick so you guys can see it in real life in action. Let's do it. Now for release two, this is probably one of the hardest things for me. Um, if you guys can see, I went through a lot of pages of different jump shots. I was looking for the right release to make it look a little flicked because of course everybody's jump shot is not perfect and mine is definitely not perfect, but it works for me. So it looks kind of flicked where when I shoot the ball, my left hand actually, before it falls, it kind of foils out because you know, everybody tells you to shoot with one hand and you know, when I was younger, I used to shoot with two hands sometimes. So I still have that problem of not keeping my left hand straight. I always somehow flicked it all off to the left. So it was so hard finding this flick the jump shot. But as I was in like release 60s and 50s, I found a gem. I was like, hold on. It looks pretty flicked. My arm still falls, but I just have to find it the right release to make it my arm fall all the way back down straight. And I found it, man. Release 54 and release 53 looked pretty good, but only one of them had that flicked it offhand left. And I was like, you know what? I think I found my jump shot, man. Now, I know a lot of people are probably like, bro, how long did it actually take you to create this jump shot? Um, when the game dropped, we played probably about, I would say, two games. After I recorded some two games, we were in a party, I think it was like two, three in the morning. And I think I was on to about maybe four in the morning. So it took me roughly about an hour to create this. And it was just me being very picky, very strenuous about what kind of jump shot I wanted, um, how it really looked in real life. And I was on YouTube watching all the clips of me ever playing basketball, you know, pick up or other stuff. So, you know, I was just saying, is that my jump shot? I was like, do it really look like that? So I think I found the gym, man. Um, let me know in this next clip if this is how my jump shot looks. But me said I'm taking off here, how they do now as far as blending goes i noticed just like you guys noticed that my release is very very quick um as soon as i go up the ball is gone so i noticed that the blending definitely had to be on very quick i couldn't make it any slower because the animation wouldn't have played out the right way so as far as the blending went with the releases i just decided you know what let me go ahead and try to blend them together as much as i can I had to make sure that my left arm always fell and I also had to make sure that I had that kind of flickedness but kept my arm up in the air. So as far as the blending went, I, I tried all different variations. You guys even see it here where I was messing with the blending, seeing which one looked better, which one you know flowed a little bit better you know what i mean so you guys can always check my old videos you know if anybody wants to see like any of my in real life stuff all you got to do is type in on youtube ipod king carter irl basketball and you guys will see like my jump shots you'll see how i play i play with a bunch of different youtubers i play with some of my friends I recently got into the recording of things, but you know, for the last about year or so, ever since like that 2K event um, back in New York, 
ever since then, man, my, my elbows have been killing me. And, you know, I ended up going to the doctor to figure out what was wrong. And, you know, I got my x-rays, I got my MRIs and stuff like that. Let's not make this a sad video because this video is too lit. Shout out to Chase Money for both of these beats, man. He always used to come with them bangers back in the day. One of these days, man, I'm going to get Chase Money to start making more beats, man. But as far as the blending goes, my final decision was 40% and 60%. Now, I can change it over time if I'm not feeling it, you know, as far as N2K. Because as long as I have the bass and I have both the releases and the very quick, it really, really looks good. It looks, I mean, I think this is probably 97% my jump shot. I don't know, man. A lot of people on YouTube, you know, they created their jump shots. I watched their videos and some of them were on par, but I think this one right here might be the closest anybody has ever seen, man. Real rap. Now, if you guys want to check out any of my basketball videos, any of my in real life stuff, all you got to do is type in on YouTube, iPod King Carter, in real life basketball. And I should pop up in the whole entire search with like all different videos I've been in, all different videos I've done, all different videos I've uploaded. So um, I think I've been on Stax Montana channel, Cash Nasty channel, Lost and Unbound channel, LSK channel, Jesser channel. I've been on my own channel. I've, I've been I've been all over this place, man. I've been on Good Game Bro channel. Uh, I think I've been on Sub The Gamer channel. I've been on almost every 2K YouTuber you can think of. If they've played in real life basketball, most likely I am in one of those videos. But uh, I want to thank you guys for watching, man. I named it my jump shot, of course. And uh, I'm going to see you guys in the next one, man. Stay up. Stay blessed. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoy this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes. And this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.